today we will be discussing about lubricating oil properties a lube oil test that is carried on board ship so let's discuss about this lube oil properties and lube oil test carried on ship in detail so lubricating oil properties first we can say viscosity viscosity means it is an internal resistance of liquid to flow it is the internal resistance of a liquid to flow viscosity is inversely proportional to temperature that means when the viscosity is high is great will be greater when the temperature is less and viscosity is less when the temperature is high so they are inversely proportional the viscosity viscosity index of oil is number that indicates effect of temperature that changes or the viscosity of oil viscosity index of oil is a, is a number that will indicate effect of temperature that changes on the viscosity of oil allow viscosity index signifies signifies a relative large change of viscosity with changes of temperature viscosity index signifies a relatively large change of viscosity with changes of temperature in other words we can say oil become extremely thin at high temperature and extremely thick at low temperature we can say viscosity index of oil is a number that indicate effect of temperature change on viscosity of oil viscosity of oil become extremely thin at high temperature and extremely thick at low temperature on other hand we can say high viscosity index signifies signifies relatively little change in viscosity over a wide temperature range high viscosity index signifies relatively little change in viscosity over a wide temperature range high viscosity index usually 85 the value of high viscosity index flash point flash point of liquid fuel is the minimum temperature at which sufficient vapor are produced and if ignited extremely gives of spark flash point means of it is a flash point of a liquid means it is minimum temperature minimum temperature at which sufficient vapor will be produced minimum temperature sufficient vapor will be produced if ignited extremely gives of spark if ignited extremely gives gives of spark it is a minimum temperature a sufficient vapor will produce if ignited extremely gives of spark when considering fuel flash point is determined to indicate presence of fire risk when we consider the fuel flash point is determined to indicate presence of fire risk okay this is particularly important when these types of fuel are used liquid with flash point of more than 65 degrees celsius are called long volatile liquid the ones with flash point less than 65 degrees celsius are called volatile liquid okay in ship only non volatile liquid are used that means flash point of lube oil 220 degrees celsius okay this is particularly means flash point means particularly important when this type of fuel is used liquid with flash point of more than 65 degrees celsius are called long volatile liquids and one with flash point less than 65 degrees celsius are known as volatile liquids in ship we use non volatile liquids are used high flash point of lube oil that is 220 degrees celsius power point power point is a temperature below which liquid ceases to flow it's a temperature below which liquid will ceases to flow if a liquid ceases to flow oil pump get overloaded and eventually get damaged if liquid ceases to flow it does not flow then oil pump get overloaded and eventually get damaged low power point is minus 18 degrees celsius low power point is minus 80 degrees celsius power point is a temperature below which liquid ceases to flow if the liquid ceases to flow oil pump get overloaded and eventually get damaged low power point is minus 18 degrees celsius then total base number total base number is the indication of oil's ability to neutralize the effect of high sulfur diesel fuel it is the indication of oil to neutralize effect of high sulfur diesel fuel higher a lube oil tvl more effective it is in suspending wear causing contaminants and reducing corrosive effect of acids over a extended period of time it is in suspending wear causing contaminants and reducing corrosive effects of acid over a extended period of time total base number means it is indication of oils ability to neutralize the effect of high sulfur fuel high high sulfur diesel fuel and higher tbn of oil means the more effective it is suspending wear causing contaminants and reducing the corrosive effects of acids over a extended period of time total base number for managing crankcase oil is 6 mg per koh per gram that is potassium hydroxide per gram tbn of managing crankcase oil is 6 mg plus mg koh per gram for managing cylinder oil 10 to 20 mg koh per gram for cylinder that means sulfur content will be 0.5 percentage and 70 percentage mg kilogram that means sulfur content and 30 mg koh per gram means auxiliary engine same oil in crankcase and cylinder okay there will be depend for tbn for managing crankcase oil is 6 mg per mg koh per gram for managing cylinder oil will be 10 to 20 mg and maybe if sulfur if that is sulfur content is 0.5 percentage if it is sulfur content is 100 percentage means 70 mg koh then 30 mg koh means for oxygen engine same oil in crankcase and cylinder what are the lube oil tests that we carried on board ship means 
there are some of the lubricant species that we can do on board which allow the ship personnel to identify the problem and take a corrective action so let's discuss about some of the simple steps that we performed on board ship that means flow stick for assembly as, uh, assessing viscosity we can use this for assessing the viscosity to determine the viscosity here there will be dirty oil and fresh oil how to find out the viscosity flow stick is used to compare the viscosity of used lube oil with that of fresh lube oil of same grade flow means flow stick is used to compare the viscosity of used lube oil and fresh lube oil of the same grade basic method is used to compare rate of running down of the used oil in relation to the fresh oil in a flow stick we will be checking on the best of rate of running down of the used oil in relation to the fresh oil in a flow stick if the used oil does not run down to a specified mark its viscosity is higher than acceptable and this may be due to presence of high insoluble content products of oxidation or ingress of fuel or higher viscosity okay if oil use does not run down to a specified mark means its viscosity is higher than acceptable and this may be due to presence of high insoluble content products of oxidation or ingress of fuel of higher viscosity water content test here we can see is water content oil reagent and all here water test kit on board will be available from the from makers maybe drew unter and all so water test kit on board enable quick and reliable on board measurement for the amount of fresh water or salt water contamination of system lubricating oil so water test kit on board ship will help us to identify a reliable measurements of on board measurement of the amount of fresh water or salt water contamination of system lubricating oil the principle of estimating amount of water is based on measuring volume of gas generated by the chemical reaction between calcium carbohydrate and water that may be present in the lubricating oil sample so the principle of estimating the amount of water is based on measuring the amount of gas amount of gas generated by chemical reaction between calcium hydrate and water that may, that may present in the lubricating oil sample okay here means water test kit will be provided on board from the respective maker and this will enable quick and uh, quick reliable on board measurement of the amount of fresh water or salt water contamination of system lubricating oil the principle of estimate, estimating the amount of water is based on the measuring of volume of gas generated by the chemical reaction between calcium hydrate and water that may present in the lubricating oil so the principle here used is the measuring the volume of gas measuring the volume of gas generated by chemical reaction measuring volume of gas generated by chemical reaction between calcium hydrate and water okay measuring the volume of gas generated by chemical reaction between calcium hydrate and water that may present in the lubricating oil sample okay there are test kit comprising glass indicator tubes containing chemical that reacts with chlorides that in the ingress salt water there are different types of makers so some test kits comprise of glass indicator tubes that contain chemicals that react with chlorides in the ingress salt water and the color changes indicate the presence of chloride okay salt water is the color then the color changes will indicate the presence of chloride or salt water okay alkalinity that means minimum tabian total base number test kit so color will be purple that means tabian value is adequate green means tbl value is low yellow or gold means very 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 low value of tbl okay here the means total base number purple means tbn value is adequate okay purple means is adequate okay normal then green means tbl value is low yellow or gold means tbn value is very low value of tbl total base number alkalinity test is meant for easy determination for the extent of alkalinity that means minimum tbn required for the lube oil to under test alkalinity test is meant for easy determination of extent of alkalinity retained by the lube oil under test this method can also be used for checking whether lube oil meets the engine builder recommended so this alkalinity test can be used to determine whether the lube oil meets the engine builder recommended condition of the lube oil of the, of the alkalinity of the lube oil and all and the used oil is mixed with a specific amount of special indicator solution and acid reagent in a test wheel here we use means used oil will be mixed with a mixed with a specific amount of special indicator solution and acid reagent in a test wheel a color change will take place if acid reagent neutralizes the alkaline additives in the lube oil okay if a color change will take place if the acid reagent neutralizes the alkaline additives in the lube oil here we can see normal chloride level and all the achieved color is checked against the color comparator to assess the tbn above or below certain value purple color will show the tbn value is adequate okay here means we will compare to the to the graph and all to the color code and we will compare it to assess the tbn above or below certain value purple color will show the tbn value is adequate or normal green color shows the tbn value is, is a borderline and yellow or green color means formation is very low of tbn which shows that the lube oil is unsuitable for for the use because if it shows yellow or golden color means the lube oil is unsuitable for further use we have to change the lube oil thank you